This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What is happening everyone and welcome to this After Effects video. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create this nice particle background in Adobe After Effects. So I'm gonna be using a third party plugin called Trackboard Particular for doing this and this full video is actually loopable but I'm gonna be covering the looping technique in a different video. So we'll be focusing on creating the full design and just to give you guys a quick breakdown, we're gonna be dividing or in order to basically create this thing, we're going to use three layers of particular. Uh, the first one, let me just remove these two. So the first one is going to be these big particles. We'll be using that for giving the full effect of particles moving and particles being created. The second is going to be small particles. This is to give a little bit of depth uh, and just to show uh, the Z depth in our design. And third one, of course, is the lines that you see right there. Now, lines are going to be a little bit difficult to render, so uh, just a heads up. So, uh, with that being said, I think we should get started. Now, uh, in order to keep this video smooth and uh, the recording to be good, I'm going to be working with a very low res uh, composition. I'm only going to go 720p, but I created these particular designs in 4K. So, you can definitely go there, but for the case of this video, I'm going to keep things easy. And I'm gonna go with 720p and we don't need to go for 25 seconds I think 5 seconds should be good now again this depends on what you are going for for my tutorials case I think 5 I think I'll go for 15 seconds so 15 seconds should be good click OK and let's start I'm gonna create a new solid I'm gonna call this big particles right I'm gonna go to trap code go to the part where the effect is particular take it and drop it onto the solid and we have this effect right here. Now I'm going to be working with the latest version of everything, the After Effects are particular itself, but uh, this technique works with any version of After Effects and any version of particular. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, the, the emitter type from point to box. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to access these three settings to basically, uh, you know, adjust the size of our emitter. And as you can see, I'm not getting to do that right here. I can just move the point around, but I don't get to adjust its size. So I'm going to change that to box and I'm going to increase the Z like so. So this way, the particles from all this, uh, all the different places are coming together. Uh, this is nice. I'm going to increase this as well the y-axis right and the general rule of thumb also in people is to basically increase this to the point or actually increase it a little bit more than the width or the height of your composition so if you remember we made 1280 composition so I'm gonna keep this to 1500 and for 720 I'm gonna go for 1000 for Z I'm gonna type in 250 right so that's it now the one thing I notice is that there is a lot of velocity, so I'll reduce the velocity from all the different settings that are there. So 0, 0, 0, uh, 0 and let's just see what we have. So as you can see, the particles now have 0 motion and we want the particles to go up. So what we can do is we can go to physics and we can increase the gravity or actually in this case I'm going to decrease the gravity. So this way because there is uh, less gravity the particles are automatically gonna fly up so they are being born and then they just go up now I don't like the way the they are being born as you can see if I was to focus here just fold it up um, the particles are just being emitted or just being created out of the blue right if you take a look at this guy he's just being created like this and I don't want that I want them to sort of fade in and since we are also working with big particles I also want the size of the particles to be a little bit big so for doing all of that go to the particles group and I'm gonna increase the size of the particle to a high value so say I'm gonna take in 25 and I, I really don't like this feather that we have so I'm gonna decrease the sphere feather to zero right this way we have this thing going on 
which is nice but again I, I don't like the way they are just popping up like popcorns um, so for doing that go to size over life uh, scratch this up a bit go to presets and I'm gonna take this third preset right here so this way they are slowly going from 0 to 100 and then they just slowly go to 0 again so let's take a look right I think the gravity is a little too much because it's going up very very fast so I'm gonna decrease this down to 15 right there we go now the problem with this awesome people is that eventually we're gonna get to the part where there are a lot of particles in the scene so what we want to do is we want to reduce the particles per second down a bit I'm gonna go down to 75 and one thing that I want to do in order to give it a little bit variation is that I want to add uh, a lot of uh, size random I'm gonna take this all the way up to 100 so as you can see the size random is gonna create some small particles some very big particles and actually I think I would like to keep this just about 50 and if you play this so this is looking nice okay so we're getting somewhere uh, next I would like to do the same thing to opacity so opacity over life go to presets take this option now we have this thing going on okay this definitely works I'm gonna save my file this is important guys um, next I'm gonna duplicate this layer no again awesome people I want you guys to remember that this video is being done in 10 15 minutes tutorial uh, my O original design was done in two three hours so this thing took me two three hours to create that's why it has a lot better feel to it the animation is a lot better the look uh, is a lot better so you have to remember that if you are trying to create this for a client or for your portfolio or just if you want to have fun you have to add more time into this I am on a proper limit so I cannot uh, you know keep on experimenting but uh, I, I can show you the technique and you can do the experimentation part uh, so anyways I'm gonna do look at this layer I'm gonna rename this to small particles right and now awesome people I'm gonna increase the particles per second I'm gonna take this to 150 and I'm gonna bring down the size of them to about 5 so as you can see we are definitely adding a little more fillness to the, to the scene so this is before this is after right and actually I think I'll take it up to 200 let's see how does that look see that looks a lot better it adds a little more uh, depth to, to the scene all right and I think uh, uh, we, we can even change the gravity of this uh, small particles layer this is gonna give us a little more parallax effect so we'll go down to physics and we'll maybe uh, decrease the, the gravity a bit so we'll go take this to minus 50 and you will see that the small particles okay they're, they're going too damn fast so take it to minus 35 and now if I play this you can see that the small particles are a little bit faster and the bigger particles are a little bit slower I think they are too fast maybe to just 30 and that should be good alright now okay so this much is done and I think this much is something that any intermediate After Effects user would be knowing someone who has played around with particular before I'm sure that they could get you to this level uh, but in order to create this lines we're gonna have to work with aux system so let's try to tackle that now so I'm gonna duplicate this layer once again I'm gonna rename this to lines so we know what you are working with so I'm gonna solo this layer so we're just seeing uh, you know this particular layer and the other two layers are being hidden I'm gonna go to lines I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna go to the part where it says aux system I'm gonna open that and I'm gonna switch it to continuously and what this basically does is that there are uh, these main particles right or in 3d world they're called mother and parent particles so there is this mother particle right and this particle is gonna emit a lot of other particles and whatever this particle does the the children particle uh, is gonna follow right so if I change it to continuously you can see that now each of those mother particles or the parent particles are emitting other smaller particles we have a lot of different settings to control this but basically what we want is we want the child particle or the children particles whatever you want to call them to follow the parent particle right so we'll uh, we, we, we can see that how many particles are being emitted so if you you know uh, as you see here we want a lot of particles to be emitted because we want a proper line to be created so 
go back to lines and in aux system we'll increase the particles per second to 100 and this is going to give us that proper line I'm going to increase the gravity let's find gravity first and I'm going to increase that to about I think uh, 300 should do so if I play this we're having this nice effect now this is something really nice you can really create some very nice motion backgrounds just using aux system I'm just showing you the techniques you can go around experimenting with them and trust me you're gonna come up with a lot of cool things um, but for the color and just to keep again to keep things simple I'm gonna show you guys a few things so the one thing I'm not liking is that the color is very very different and it's not matching the parent particle the parent particle was white so we'll go from color over life or oh, actually sorry we have this option which says color from main and we'll, if we increase that to 100% uh, the 100% color is gonna be copied from the parent particle so now if you want to change the color we have to go all the way up to particle there is gonna be a color option over there and we'll have to change that right uh, we can change the blend mode to add it's gonna give you a little bit more blending if you had other elements in your scene but in order to create a nice effect uh, what we can do is we can go to uh, oh, color or oh, over life take that option and there's gonna be a color over life triangle box here click on that and then in presets I'm gonna go for the third one I really like this color and that looks nice to me I'm gonna go down to aux system and let's mess with a few more settings here so we have opacity over life if you guys remember this from the parent particle we're gonna take this over here and as you can see you're gonna get a, a very different effect now you remember that there is opacity we just said at 50 percent we can bring it down if you want we can take it up so again bringing it down gives us a very nice effect um, but I'm gonna keep it about 25 and you can even adjust the size of these parent particles so you can create something like this next what you can do is we can even add randomness so you can add some randomness to the life and you can see you're getting some nice drainy effects like that uh, but, but anyways in order to create these line effects what we'll do is we will go to size or actually not to size but to life per second and we will increase the life of these children particle to a higher number so this way we're getting a longer duration of them and therefore they're gonna last a lot longer on the scene and therefore they're gonna create the lines so let's increase that to about 10 I think right and if I play this you can see this is what they are creating and this is nice this is definitely nice but the one thing the one problem that we are having is that the parent particle is very very visible now if you're happy with this design then so be it add some uh, nice background and some lens flares and try some uh, other experimentations with some different plugins but you're good to go but if you remember we have some other elements from our scene so we need all of them to blend together and the one thing that's causing the problem is that these parent particles are very very visible and we don't want that so we'll go back to particle the main particle setting and we'll decrease the size from 5 to say 2 right and now if we unsolo it or and uh, if you go to lines because you have to copy the color settings to all the different layers that we have so I'll go here in particle there's gonna be the color option color over life you have to change the set color option from at start that's a default value to over life okay go to presets take the third one and again you guys have to experiment I'm just showing you what I have done I'm gonna click on this copy option this way I can paste it on to the different layers that I have so I'm gonna paste it again set color change it to over life in over life option I'm gonna click on paste and there we go we have pasted those things um, okay, I'm gonna do it very quickly color over life paste there we go right that is nice now awesome people um, again you'll have to add a little more experimentation maybe may, maybe these big particles are a little too much for my taste I'm gonna decrease their size down to about that much and maybe increase the particles per second as well okay this looks good to me now to complete the effect I just took the simple Gaussian blur effect and I applied it to the lines layer All right and if I increase that you can see we have this nice effect like this now to composite this full thing um, 
I'm gonna take this main or actually I can create a BG right here so create a BG layer add a nice ramp effect mm. change it to radial ramp swap colors and for the light color I'm gonna go for a very nice bluish tone like that put it there take this back there we have something really really nice right now you can create an adjustment layer and you can do all sorts of hue and saturation for color controlling uh, the full design that you have made instead of going to every single particle uh, layer so we can change its color like this right and you can even try out uh, you know video copilot's color vibrance effect I think that's for free so you can even check that out so that's also really nice you can add some glow effects or maybe experiment with trap codes stock low right this is going to take a little more time to render but it's going to give you a little more interesting effects it has a lot more settings to offer so definitely check it out but i'm going to apply the normal glow and it's going to just add a little more effect to the whole design uh, in order to complete this effect we cannot forget the letterboxing right so boxing change this to 80 and change the blend mode to stencil alpha right and also change the composition <laughs> color to black you have to make sure of that and there we go awesome people we have a nice uh, you know animated design so I hope you guys enjoy have a good time and uh, thank you for watching my video my name is TJ style and I will see you all next time take care everyone